PLC, check 236, 237, 238, 239, 240. ACS, check 234 and uh, 235. PTM check 241, check 242. One minute. PLC, go. Go. PTM. Go. ACS. Go. Turn. Go. JPL. Go. go. MM, go. Check 1244. Terrier armed. First station rocket, Terrier has been armed. 25 seconds to launch. If you're wanting to see it and you're nearby, go outside. ACS, the house. check 245. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, mark. mark. There goes the second stage ignition. Brain ignition, see motor pressure. Can I go to see it? You see the first stage coming back down. Second stage continuing on. PMTD, this is MNO on one. Just to let you know, three got up, three is tracking the booster. TD copies. Thank you, MNO. Okay, so at this point, uh, we've gone through uh, first stage, second stage burn, and the payload is now heading up towards its uh, testing areas. So, Jeremy, what uh, kind of goes on after, after this point? So, right now, we'll wait for confirmation of payload deploy, and after that, we'll wait for confirmation of the parachute deploy. Uh, once we get confirmation of that, we'll then marshal our recovery boats to go uh, pick up the payload. And, and you mentioned earlier about, you know, going out in recovery and the importance of doing that. The Aspire team will now be marshalling all the recovery boats to go confer converge on the anticipated splashdown point so that we can retrieve the parachute and all that valuable data carried on board. We're going to be taking that parachute back, cleaning it, letting it dry, and then inspecting all of those one million stitches. Okay, so this is the uh, third in the Aspire series. All three tests have been successful, uh, so that's very good, and uh, the payload is expected to come down depending on the winds and things out there, around the 40-mile point uh, off of Wallops Coast. So uh, as soon as the boat, uh, the aircraft will go out and uh, spot the parachute, and then there we have a recovery boat that will uh, that is out there waiting for to be directed into the area where the payload is coming down. They will then uh, pick that up, as Jeremy mentioned, and bring that back here to Wallops. So uh, we do expect to get that back here uh, sometime this afternoon uh, to be able to start looking at the parachute and, and pulling the data off the rocket since the high-speed cameras, I guess, were stored on board. Um, so, uh, you know, it looks like a good flight today. Yeah, it'll take uh, a few hours for us to go out, uh, recover the payload, and bring it back. We'll separate the parachute from the rest of the payload. We'll go to two separate locations. Uh, we'll take the, that valuable high-speed data, high-speed footage off of the cameras, and uh, the parachute canopy will go to a separate location where we'll, we'll analyze all that. Okay, great. So it looks like uh, we've had a good flight this morning, and um, that pretty much wraps up for today. Our next launch here from Wallops currently scheduled is the Antares mission, and uh, we're looking to for that to uh, occur sometime in mid-November, and that will be carrying supplies to the International Space Station. So thanks for joining us today, and that concludes everything from here at Wallops. Thanks for joining us.
Thank you.